Hello everyone, I'm Kay Gray. Today I want to talk to you about ownership and the illusion of possessions. Why do you want to own things? The most obvious answer is it's the status quo, it's what everybody does, so it's, it's the norm. But what's underneath that? Is it protection? Is it a fear of someone coming and forcing you out of the place that you live or taking away the things that make your life easier? Is it because you want to make money off of the things that you own? Ask yourself, does it really feel good to hold on to things? Is that good for your soul, for your mind? Do you really believe in that? Or are you doing it out of fear? Letting go of possessions is going to bring you a lot more happiness than holding on. There is a part of our brain that is responsible for feeling uh, as an individual. And when that part of the brain is turned down, we start to sense that we are a part of all things. Ownership emphasizes the me part, and it is essentially an addiction. Letting go allows you to melt away those feelings and reminds you that you are a part of everything and to trust that all things are really okay. It's something that comes up quite frequently when somebody's art has been stolen and reused on the internet. I see art the same as children. It is something that comes through you and not from you. You are the vessel through which it manifests itself into the world. Both art and children have their own lives and cannot be controlled. Be happy and proud of letting something go that came from you and now has its own life as it flies free to evolve however it wants to. Holding on to these things stifles their journey and it stifles yours too. I've always felt that many art forms are uh, misplaced as to who gets the credit. I've always believed that it is the camera engineer who is the artist and not the photographer. People are surprised when they learn that every song that's ever won a Grammy or whatever has the same exact chord progression structure. Just listen. Do you recognize this? Uh, yeah, that is Don't Stop Believing by Journey. It's a great song. Very original There's a few more song. fit. Check it out. My life is brilliant. My love is pure. I saw an angel. Of that I'm sure well, that's just two songs that are similar that's forever not young Three I want to be forever young but that's just because we like harmonies that are mathematical and there's just only so many that you can make um, music itself writing new music takes nothing once you know how to do it it it, it just takes seconds the, it's more in the mixing and the and the instrument picking that there's some creativity involved but most songs are pretty similar and um, it's really not some feat of ingenuity uh, again building building the piano takes more work than learning to write a song on the piano there was this really cool couple of guys that used a program to basically write every possible melody that could ever exist and then they copyrighted it and released it as public domain. And I think that's just the most awesome thing. So I thought, you know, what if you could brute force melodies? What if you could say, do da 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 do da da re do da da mi do da fa and then exhaust every melody that's ever been? And the way the computers read music is called MIDI. And in MIDI, it looks like this. Do da da do do da da re do da da mi So I approached my colleague Noah. Music is the product of the rules of our universe and the way that our minds have evolved. It's not something you own. It's something that you get to enjoy as a living being. So just enjoy it. Don't hold on to that. I believe it's farming that gave rise to colonizer syndrome, as I call it. We have always been meant to search for food and not to control it. When we started controlling plants and deciding where they grow and when they grow and with whom they grow, we separated ourselves from the natural order. We became addicted to efficiency as well as slavery. War did not exist before farming. Land, especially in colonized countries, is not something that anybody actually owns. Um, the only reason that land is owned here now is because the people who lived here before, here specifically, the Weah tribe, didn't believe in ownership. And so it was so easy for them to say, 
oh, of course, you can come live here because we don't own this land. Nobody owns this land. And then colonizers came and killed them and now continue to buy and resell land for profit. Every time you participate in buying and selling real estate, you are contributing and continuing criminal activity that began with genocide and stolen lands. So do not spend your life working a job that makes no sense, that hurts the planet, just to pay a bill to someone who is a criminal. We are not godlike figures who get to control how things work on this planet. When we forget that we are part of all things, that is when we become sick. Our world is sick now and it is dying as a result. Ask yourself, do you need to charge for that thing? Can you trade? Can you give it away for free? Which one feels the best? And if you have your, a little voice that's saying, but, 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 that's just fear. And you don't have to give in to that. Let go of control, let go of ownership, and embrace the trust that all is okay. <laughs>